Those guys will get the first look. Jackson will inbound, and Conlon has committed the point. Can't waste a lot of time here. McConnell pack it in. Watch number 40 slide inside. Brooks. Taylor had it blocked from behind by Brooks. There was Brooks rotating inside. Taken back by Jackson. He lost it. Bodies going everywhere. And a foul inside against Michigan State on Brooks. I cannot believe they didn't pull a foul on Jackson's move to the basket. I mean, Jackson was crushed. There's the jump shot. There's the contact with Brooks coming from the rear. Now we're going to watch. Here comes Brooks from the rear of that matchup zone. Now the ball goes out. Now you watch this. There's no contact here. Oh. Hey. Look at him laying on the deck. I thought, I thought he got slammed. Four on Brooks. Baston has missed his last four from the line. He's three out of seven. These are huge. He's thinking too much. He's just got to step away. Quiets the crowd and cuts the lead to two. Nice rotation. Nice arc on that shot. That means he wasn't watching you. I'll tell you one thing. He made a great play, though, to keep the ball alive. Yes, he did. Mid -court. I mean, he doesn't get that basketball. This game could be history. And that was after he missed an earlier free throw. And now, right now, the Michigan goes some pressure and to try to make the steal. Don't allow Michigan State to use a lot of time. And if it's not there, you foul. And the guy you think about fouling, Eric Snow. I don't care if he's improved as a free throw shooter. He's still in that 60 percentile area. They get the bounce, and it's 65-64. The next foul still one and one. They are not in a two-shot foul situation. You don't want to foul Resper. He's like automatic on the line, one of the best. And Resper gets the ball, and he's fouled immediately by Jimmy King. Very smart play. Well coached. Good decision by Judd Heathco. He has Snow throw the ball in bounds and get the ball over to Resper. Coming up next, number six, Kentucky against number 20, Alabama. Tony Delk, Antonio McDice. Tremendous rebounder, averaging nine and a half a game Jamal, in the SEC. Jamal Faulkner can play on that front court as well as Jason Taffy. Alabama, to me, the Princeton Tide, they're basically one of the real dangerous teams in America. All right, now you go to Respite on the line. He's like automatic, Mike. He is the best in the Big Ten, 86.1%. Just doesn't go to the line enough. Well, when you're shooting a lot of jump shots, he even said that he's got to work a little more on dribble drive. He's got that nice strong wrist. Put it down in the book. I mean, it's like what a matter. Guys like Westford, they really wait for this moment. They play for this moment. The number five all-time scorer in the history of the Big Ten as Conlon comes back in, Fife comes out. The lead is two. Westford can make it three. Well, he makes it three. Now you got to start to think seriously about a three if you're Michigan. I mean, if the two is there quickly, fine. you got still another chance to make the steal. Blows that one in a three-point lead. Michigan only two for 12 from three-point range. They missed their last seven. If you don't get the quick deuce, you got to shoot the three. Kinger Jackson got to step out. Kinger Jackson got to step out. That zone's making him take a lot of time off the clock. Somebody's got to take something. They got to take a lot of time off Bad the clock. pass by Conlon got caught up in the air. Look at Westford hustle for it. Snow! King calls timeout with 6.9 seconds to go. What a poor job by Michigan in their execution or the half-court game. They allowed that defense to really create havoc for them. May be the worst situation Michigan can manage, uh, imagine. They have no perimeter game and they need a three-point shot. Well, they're shooting so poorly. We said they're two for 12 and 0 for 7. Right now, if you're Michigan State, I will be surprised if Judd Heathcote doesn't go to some full court pressure. You don't want to. You want to get into a situation right now where you don't want to allow them to come up the court quickly and get the three. King and Jackson are one for four. I, they're the only ones who've made one. I personally, I know what I would do here. And Jimmy V used to say this. I would let him bring the ball up the court, and then I would foul and not allow them to get the look for the three. I mean, if they can beat us by making one free throw, missing another, getting the ball, we don't deserve to win. Well, somebody did that last year after they talked about yeah. that situation, but that's very rare that very that's going to happen. See, they're going to bring up the defense, you know, keep the ball in front of you, make them take some time off. No timeouts. See, I would let him get a look at the 
three. It's over. Michigan State has won 